the case studies 48 were for student only <laughs> and for the parents. Uh, some of the most common things where EFTs really work with children is, uh, uh, you know, generally we think that children are not doing well in academics because it's a subject or something like that. It's always more internal. You know, they're probably dealing with some kind of uh, friendship issues or something, and that is affecting every other area of their life. Uh, in a group, uh, one common thing which comes is, like I did recently, I was in Enzaba, and uh, is exam stress. So that is something is common with everyone. So it is very easy to start the EFT with them. But one uh, thing I just want to say is that before we get into any process with any child, it's very important for us to create a rapport with the child. Because we have to respect that he is also an individual and he has his own, just as we adults are busy in our lives, they are also very busy in their life. They have a lot of clutter. So it's very important to respect their space, to respect things that they like. So getting the rapport correct is very important. Then get into any process. Um, so of course exam stress was like, even when you do the karate job, thrice, half to 50% goes off there only. Uske baat is just a formality. Uh, where it's really worked for children, two cases I want to talk about right now. Uh, one was a child, 11 year old child, uh, uh, I mentioned that in the case study also. So there is a, these are, he was my client for about three months, we've been working together. And uh, he had this fear of that when the Pulvama attacks happened. And he developed a fear for terrorists. So he used to always think, because everybody was talking about it. You know, and he could not even watch a war movie and reach that stage because he was feeling very fearful about the whole thing. Uh, so for him, when we started the tapping, and then I went down to the movie technique with him and that, he remembered a time when there was he was in Chicago, and there was and he when he was uh, eight years old, and in Chicago it caught fire, the hotel from part of it caught fire, and his parents were not there, so only he and his little brother were there. So he had a lot of fear because of that, the anxiety. So once we came to that, then as we do in the movie technique, you know, all the love and exceptions and everything. And then he was able to, over a period of time, it didn't happen instantly, but over a period of time he was able to overcome that. And then he's like, you know, the dentist come to my drawing room and I'm offering them tea and I'm offering them coffee. And the second child, I don't take more time, but the second person I talk about, He's not only a teenager, he's about uh, 25. He has something called Lyme disease, which is a physical ailment. And because of which, uh, a lot of, he was facing a lot of uh, mental stress, depression, uh, and he was taking medication for that. So he was working with a psychiatrist too. Uh, he had really lost, you know, he would be completely in the, on the bed and not do anything, just be on his Netflix and he was not doing anything in his life really, and he's 25 and you expect your children to do something at that age. Uh, he was on e-cigarettes, he had uh, so he multiple, he used multiple things with him, one is traditional coaching and conversations, uh, even a bit of NFP also, that's the way he started that. Uh, but EFT really has really helped him get over his anxiety, why he gives to e-cigarettes are high anxiety, high anxiety. Now he's done his CFA level one. He has cleared it, and now he's even joined a startup. His dream is to be a venture cap. He wants to have his own VC firm that he is financing companies. But his dream is all gone for him. He had even stopped dreaming. But now he is uh, he's living his life. He's still not off his e cigarettes. He still does that. But then, as far as it's happening in the right proportion, it's fine. So yeah, so these are things where I think EFT is really helpful.